This is what the people in Odell Beckham Jr.'s camp are saying. I like the direction of the Philadelphia Eagles. So, all I'm saying is, is that you're on a list for Odell to consider. Would Howie Roseman and the owner consider bringing an Odell Beckham in? Dan Cilio, welcome aboard. I know the Eagle fans, uh, it's not quite the football Friday that you were hoping for, but again, a lot of news concerning the Eagles. Will the Birds go after this one particular player? I'm going to hit on that here in a minute. I've got three players that I'd like to see the Philadelphia Eagles draft. Also, we're going to have the National Football Show's very own Chris Landry. He is my draft expert. He has been for over 20 years. We're going to ask him what direction the Philadelphia Eagles should go. If you would like to also bring your favorite team in and ask maybe the direction, say, of the Steelers, have at it. I will throw that in there as well. Welcome aboard. Like I said, please hit the like button. We're going to talk a lot of draft here today. But I first want to start it out by saying this. I had a conversation with people that were around Zeke Zandu. Zeke Zandu is Odell Beckham Jr.'s agent. And at the end of this year with the Los Angeles Rams, Odell Beckham will be a free agent. Now, a lot of people in the media are thinking that he's going to sign with the Rams. He'll take less money. He'll be okay being the number three guy in Los Angeles. Remember, Woods comes back next year, and he'll be healthy. And Odell Beckham is really the third dude on that totem pole. Will he stay in Los Angeles? According to his agent, they're going to look at the open market, and they're going to look at the best financial place, plus the best opportunity for him to get back to being a one. Now, that's if you think Odell Beckham Jr., is a one. They threw some teams out. The Buffalo Bills, the Packers, the Saints. I was shocked on the Saints because I think they still have to address the quarterback. But that leads me to believe that the Saints may go big game hunting in this coming offseason for a big name quarterback. You bring Beckham in, you're not going to have Tyson Hill throw him the ball. So they may be trying to attract some of these big fish guys like a Russell Wilson to New Orleans by putting a guy like Odell Beckham Jr. back in as a number one next to Michael Thomas. Have to figure that out down there in New Orleans. So I kind of, after I thought about it, realized it. The Philadelphia Eagles were one of those teams as well. And I was asking the people around Zeke's uh, corner, if this was something that was out of his mouth, this was a direction that you guys were aiming him in. He goes, no, I like what they're doing in Philadelphia. This is what the people in Odell Beckham Jr.'s camp were saying. I like the direction of the Philadelphia Eagles. So all I'm saying is, is that you're on a list for Odell to consider. Would Howie Roseman and the owner consider bringing an Odell Beckham in for the 2020 season. Boy, man. And by the way, we're just loaded too. Guys, I'm going to get to you here in a second, okay? I'm just absolutely loaded because I've got three players that I'd like to see the Philadelphia Eagles draft in the first round. I've got the names. And like I said, we're going to go over them with Chris Landry at the bottom of the hour from Landry Football. Odell Beckham Jr. in Philadelphia. On the other side of Devontae Smith. How does that sound? Has he ever been a bad teammate? No. Does he bring a circus? Kind of. Has he shown you he's still got the capability of being a big-time wideout over these last two months? You know, when Woods got hurt, has he kind of stepped into that role? I think he has. Now the question is, would he fit in Philly? You've had drama queen quarterbacks and wide receivers in your city. You had the biggest drama queen in the history of wide receivers in T.O. So don't tell me a player with that personality doesn't fit in a city like Philly. 
I'm talking personality wise now. You guys set the bar. You can't leap over that bar. There's no leaping over it. T.O.'s the guy. Okay? There's a mountain standard. He is the mountain when it comes to people that were gigantic polarizing figures. Okay? Chico says the Eagles have to take a risk. Hmm. You know, as I was coming on the air, because I was getting some tidbits from Zeke Zandu's people, Odell Beckham Jr.'s agent, I, I, I was thinking, how would that go over in that locker room, having a personality like that in the Eagle locker room? You know, he, he's married now. He's got a kid. You know, how about this, guys? I would take him on my team at the right price. Okay? Big Chris says, I heard he liked the L.A. lifestyle. Dude, he's married now. He's got a kid. He's not going to be paid more money than Cooper Cup, and he's not surely going to be paid more money than Woods. He's never going to get the targets in Los Angeles. Is a personality like that, like Odell Beckham Jr., okay with being the third dude in the room? Okay, I don't think so. Andrew, what's up, brother? Now, by the way, in case you're new to the program, please hit the like button like I said. We go back and forth with all of you. We interact here, and I'm throwing it out. Would Otto Beckham Jr. work in Philadelphia? I say he would. I would still want another possession guy because of what I've been saying over the last couple of weeks. They need a big-time possession guy who can block in the run game. But Odell Beckham saying that he'd have interest in coming to Philadelphia, I'm also interested in that, but at the right price. Paul says, I remember having Odell having conversations with place-kicking nets. I don't give a shit about that, Paul, as long as he gets 10 catches for 100 yards. He could talk to his shoes. I don't care if he's a weirdo. I don't care if he dresses and dresses. If he goes out there and balls and gets 10, touch, 10 touchdowns a year, 10 catches, 1,500 yards, I don't care about that crap. That's like telling me you wouldn't want Dennis Rodman on your team. What are you, crazy? The greatest under seven foot rebounding center or guy who ever played the five in NBA history, he's got just as many rebounding titles as Will Chamberlain. Oh, he dressed up in a dress. I don't care about that shit. Okay. What, what, what numbers are you going to put up? Odell wants to kiss the net. I'll make him one. Okay? Does he still have it, and would you want him on your team? Bro, that would make you, again, one of those media darlings because for whatever reason, people follow and love this guy. Beckham is going to be a name in the open market. How big of a market? See, this is where I think the Eagles get a chance to get a break and a deal. Do you remember here? I'm going to give you a great example of where. Let me give you a great example of where Odell Beckham is in his career. Do you guys remember when um, Randy Moss was with the Raiders? Do you guys remember that? He was a colossal failure with the Raiders. A massive failure. Do you know what the New England Patriots traded for him? They got a six-round draft choice and a player, I think. They got nothing for him, the Raiders. They just gave him away. That's where Beckham is. He goes to New England, reinvents his entire career, and he turns into and finishes off the Randy Moss career. Albeit, he had Tom Brady. I, I get it. He had somebody that could get him the football. Okay? I, I was shocked when I heard the Eagles were one of those teams. Bernie says he's a baller. He lies it on the field every single game, every single time he's out there. People may follow him, but now I'm not one of them. Andrew, I understand. Here's a guy, again, okay, that has circled 
that has circled the Eagles. All right. Think about that for a minute. 